This is an in-depth repair video of a Canon GL1 that needs a replacement eyepiece. It involves going as far into the camcorder as this picture shows. Here you see I printed out where most of the screws are in each stage of this disassembly, and I will update them as we go. The final images are available free for printing at lensmith.com for you to use during your own teardown. The tools required are only a set of high quality precision screwdrivers like these, a non-metallic pry tool, First lay the camcorder on the tape side and remove the four screws from behind the LCD. Now although these two screws are not required to be removed, I went ahead and took out the two screws from both sides of the front of the mic handle. With the camera tape side up, take out the bottom corner screw and the one behind this DC mic input cover. With the camcorder on its base, remove the two front mic handle screws then open the tape deck door and remove the top screw. With the camcorder upside down, Remove all six screws from the bottom of the camcorder. Stand the camcorder on the lens and remove the four screws from the rear including the one behind the AV cover. Now in case it hasn't already popped off, pull off the base and remove these two screws from underneath. Pry the tape side cover away from the body. Carefully detach the flex cable and set the cover aside. Also set aside the rubber AV cover. With the tape side cover removed, there are some more exposed screws. Remove this one that holds down the top cover and the one behind it for the mic handle. The top cover can now be pried free and removed. Be gentle with the removal. You can see here this tab got bent during disassembly. Remove this screw holding on the LCD side cover. Now you can remove the other two mic handle screws from the top. Lift the mic handle off the body and remove this flex cable by pulling it out and the rear flex cable by releasing the latching mechanism. We can see clearly now the problem that caused the eyepiece to become stuck. This sliding mechanism is broken and I will replace the entire eyepiece instead of repairing this part. Since there are still several screws that need to be removed, I'll create one last legend to properly organize the screws as I come across them. I removed a few more screws than necessary for this particular procedure, but I'll show you the steps that I took in entirety, nonetheless. I've removed these four screws from the tape deck, although you can leave them screwed in unless you intend to go further into the camcorder than I will. From the eyepiece assembly, remove these two top screws. Now pull the LCD side cover out of the way, support it, and remove this side screw.
I nearly forgot, but slide out the eyepiece and remove these two other screws from the top as well. Hold the LCD side cover back in place temporarily and pry the rear piece off the base. I chose to slightly bend this to the side to help gain access. Support the LCD side cover again, and from under the eyepiece, pry the top part of the rear assembly away from the body. Now the last screw is exposed and can be removed, as well as the eyepiece's flex cable which is partially glued down. I will not be going any further into the camcorder than this, but as you can see, behind here is access to the main fuses. These may need to be replaced if the reason you're disassembling your camcorder is because it is unable to power on. Now I will get the replacement eyepiece and reconnect the flux cable. Set it in place and screw in the side screw. Now set the rear assembly back onto the camera by snapping the top and bottom tabs into place, verifying the AV connections are lined up properly. Now replace the screw on the opposite side, as well as the four screws on top of the slider. Replace the four screws from the tape deck, which didn't actually need to be removed for this particular repair. The rest of the assembly is simply reverse of disassembly, although I may do things in a slightly different order than that. Replace the LCD side cover and prepare to set the mic handle back in place. Push the front flex cable back into the connector and route it down like this. Reconnect the rear flex cable securely. Set the mic handle in place and leave the flex cable routed like this. Replace the rear mic handle screw on this side. And this one holding the LCD side cover on as well. As well as the other rear mic handle screw. Now replace this mic handle screw on the opposite side. And you're ready to replace the top cover. It may help to remove this red decorative piece, loosen the screw behind it a bit, and set the cover in place before tightening it down. Now to tighten the top cover screw. Flip it over on its backside and replace the LCD side cover base screw. Flip it over on its lens and reattach the two screws on the back by the LCD side. Before reattaching the tape side cover, replace the flex cable Also set the rubber AV cover in place before it's too late. Then press the tape side cover firmly in place, making sure it snaps into the base. Replace the tape side cover screw into this hole on the base, and not this one. Replace the two rear screws by the AV cover. Flip the camcorder on his back again, set the base cover back on, and replace the six screws. From the top, replace these two screws for the mic handle and this one inside the tape deck door. 
From the tape side, replace the mic side screw, the screw under the DC input cover, and the bottom corner screw. From the LCD side, replace the other mic side screw, and the four screws under the LCD. Now, insert a battery and test the main controls as well as the ones on the mic handle.